Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, YouTube's most interactive Raiders channel. The question I'm going to hit you guys with right away, should the Oakland Raiders trade for Minka Fitzpatrick? If you think that the Raiders should trade for Minka Fitzpatrick, like this video, give it a thumbs up. Or if you think the Raiders are good and they should not trade for Minka Fitzpatrick, dislike this video. I want to see this video, man. I'm hoping to have over 3,000 likes and... You know what? Let's hope for the zero down likes. So, should the Raiders trade for Minka Fitzpatrick? So, the reason why I'm talking about this is because Fitzpatrick, he is seeking a trade. So, there's been reports are out there that the Dolphins are allowing Minka to seek out trade partners. Here's the thing, though. Miami, which I don't blame them, is asking for at least a first rounder. The reason why Fitzpatrick wants out, well, he wants to win football games and I don't know if you guys have the Chat Sports app or not, but you'll know if you do that, shout out to my dad, the Dolphins are not looking too good. They got absolutely ripped apart by the Ravens, and then they got washed by the New England Patriots, 43-0. Fitzpatrick wants to win, and on the Dolphins, that's not going to happen. So Minka was drafted in 2018. He's only 22 years old. Pretty mind-blowing. Come out of Alabama. I love my Alabama guy. Shout out to the Crimson Tide. Nine pass breakups, two interceptions last year. Drafted 11th overall in 2018. And his rookie season was pretty freaking good. He started 11 games. In those 11 games, he had 80 tackles. Nine pass breakups, two interceptions, and two tackles for a loss on a Miami Dolphins team that we can all sit here and agree is not very good. However, week one of 2019 happened. And it was Minka Fitzpatrick's worst game of his entire career. Interesting stat here. Fitzpatrick allowed zero touchdowns as the primary coverage defender in 2018. He allowed three touchdowns against the Baltimore Ravens. He saw six targets. He allowed six receptions, and he played in only 49 snaps. Now, he did bounce back week two versus the New England Patriots. Sure, the Dolphins lost 43-0, but he played a little bit better. He had six tackles. He had one forced fumble. He recovered that fumble and zero tackles for a loss. But I think Mickey Fitzpatrick is actually one of the best players in the entire NFL. He's definitely one of the best younger players in the NFL. So this report came out on September 15th from Ian Rappaport. Numerous teams are interested in Dolphins star Mickey Fitzpatrick. And Miami could trade him this week. My two responses to that are, yeah, no shit. And then the other one is, yeah, there's a lot of teams interested because he's a very good player. And if you know... Or if you're subscribed to our main chat sports channel, you know that we broke down our top six teams for Minka Fitzpatrick. So if Minka Fitzpatrick were to be traded, right, he'd be under contract through 2021 plus a fifth-year option. His cap hit in 2019 to 2021, 1.23 mil, 1.98 mil, and then 2.27 million, which is not a lot of money for a player of Minka Fitzpatrick's caliber. Sure, you're going to have to end up paying him a lot of money when it comes time to do that. But here's the thing, the Oakland Raiders have money. You have $26.6 million, the fourth most in the NFL right now. And in my opinion, if you want to go out and win football games, if you want to prove to the city of Oakland that you're trying to win your last year, you go out and you get this kid. You go out and get this player from the Miami Dolphins. So should the Raiders trade for Mika Fitzpatrick? If you're like, yeah, Mitch, they should type trade. I want to see a lot of trades in the comments section. Man, I was super hyped. The Raiders, they played great against the Broncos. And I don't want to overblow what happened against the Chiefs because the Chiefs, I think, are the best offense in the NFL. And just because we lost to the Chiefs, that doesn't mean we're not going to win any more games the rest of the year. And just because we beat the Broncos, that doesn't mean that we're, you know, the greatest team ever. But at the end of the day, we really miss Jonathan Abram. So I want to see everyone in the comments section, should the Raiders trade for Minka Fitzpatrick? Because the other thing, it's not going to be cheap. The Raiders are probably going to have to give up a first-round pick. Something that is cheap, is free and a freeze for you freeze for me so if you want okay a free flag you got to listen up raider nation store they're hooking me up they got me my shirts i got my howie long shirt on and they're also giving out five free raiders flags here's what you got to do you got to download the my tv choice app my tv choice app it's free and it's going to help you get rid of commercials so if you want to enter my raiders flag giveaway Download the My TV Choice app. It's free, and it gets rid of commercials. If that doesn't sell you, well, how about this? A free Raiders flag. So download the My TV Choice app, and then email me a screenshot to Raiders at chatsports.com. I got about 75 people right now that have sent me that screenshot. 
And giving out five, I'm not good at math, but uh, your chances, I think, are pretty good, right? I don't know. Somebody want to do the math for me? Whatever. Download the MyTVChoice app. Email me a screenshot at Raiders at ChatSports.com. So, the My TV Choice app, if you're going to be watching Monday Night Football tonight, hopefully you are, Browns versus the Jets, or if you're going to be watching a whole bunch of NFL games next week, get rid of commercials. Download the My TV Choice app on your mobile device for free. Connect it to Wi-Fi and get rid of commercials. So you can watch the Raiders report. You can watch Chat Sports content instead of boring commercials, right? I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of a doctor telling me if it lasts longer than four hours that you should do something about it. Those commercials to me sound like they're four hours long. So download the My TV Choice app. Get rid of them forever. Raider Nation, show out for me. Come on, download the app. So here's the Raiders defensive back depth chart as it stands right now. Going into week two against the Chiefs, I was like, oh man, we're good. We got Carl Joseph back there. LaMarcus Joyner played great in week one. Gary on Conley. <laughs> oh. And then this happened. Patrick Mahomes came into town and threw for 278 yards and four touchdowns in the second quarter alone. Sure, you can look at a glass half full, glass half empty or whatever and say, well, we held him to zero points the other three quarters. <laughs> the only issue with that is that don't matter. We still gave up 28. And then we got ripped apart by Travis Kelsey. Seven catches, 107 yards, sure. I think he's uh, the best tight end in the NFL right now. If you guys play fantasy football on FanDuel, hey, you'll know that Travis Kelsey's one of the best players. And then if you play this guy on FanDuel like I did, I'll be honest, I did. He had 172 yards, six catches, and two touchdowns. On six targets, this team absolutely ripped apart the Raiders' secondary. And yes, this Chiefs offense, I think, is elite. But this is our depth chart right now. And uh, if we want to compete with the best teams in the NFL, I think this is why you go out and trade for Mika Fitzpatrick. This looks a lot better to me. Curtis Riley, Eric Harris, uh, they just did not get it done. LaMarcus Joyner really, really struggled in this game. So if Micah Fitzpatrick, you insert him to this Raiders secondary, it is a lot better. And you can't even tell me this right now. Think about this. Micah Fitzpatrick and Jonathan Abram in 2020. If y'all can't see that, man, I'm really confused on what you guys are seeing. So here's the AFC West standings right now. The Kansas City Chiefs, they're 2-0. The Chargers, they dropped one of the Lions. <laughs> the Lions. Matthew Stafford. First time in my entire life I was rooting for Matthew Stafford. And then the Oakland Raiders, we're at 1-1. And then the Denver Donkeys, they dropped to 0-2 after losing to, of course, the Raiders and the Bears this past week. Mitchell just ripping apart the Broncos. I'm all about it. So we're trying to bring out a whole bunch of new content for you guys here on the Raiders Report. And if you guys like film study, well, guess what? You're going to absolutely love this. So new video coming out for you guys this week. I'm bringing my man Tom down. So Tom normally comes on the show when I drink beer. We're not going to do that. We're going to have a little bit more fun here. Tom is going to break down some Raiders film study. So tell me in the comments section below, or heck, just tweet at Tom, at what going downy, what players or plays you want to see more of. Do you want to see the Raiders with Jonathan Abram or without Jonathan Abram? Do you want to see the entire second quarter of that game against the Chiefs? I would really question whether or not you're even a Raiders fan. But let me know what players or plays you want to see more of. And then I'm going to bring my man Tom Downey, best in the biz. He's going to do some Raiders film study. But let me hear it in the comments section. So here's the thing. Mike Mayock, he probably gets his film study personally from uh, my man Tom Downey. So Mayock used to be an NFL draft analyst in 2018. We remember. Yes, he's our new GM. So Mike Mayock had Minka Fitzpatrick rated as his highest safety, his top safety. And Mayock was quoted saying, he's the kind of chess piece that defensive coordinators love. I don't know about you, I've played chess maybe five times, and I'm going to guess every single person that watches this video and likes this video can probably beat me in chess. If this was called the chess report, that'd be something different, but it's not. So here's Mike Mayock's quote on Minka Fitzpatrick in 2018. This is the rare kind of guy that you can say, okay, we're going to drop him down on a slot, and then in the next game, or even the next snap, you can line him up on Gronkowski, or Kelsey, or one of those big tight ends. Would have been great having Minka up against Kelsey, who ripped us for 107 yards. This was the next thing he said. He can literally play any position back there. He's got free safety range, and I think he can match slots and tight ends. When you talk to Nick Saban about this kid, Nick Saban absolutely lights up. Now, for me, after being in Oakland, something that lights up maybe the way that you guys deal with the Raiders losing, for me personally, it's not the way that I would personally do it. So here, I want to break down for you guys my five ways 
that I deal with a Raiders loss. And yes, I don't light anything up. First thing that I do normally, I tweet out, man. I tweet out. I just go nuts on Twitter. I get angry. And when I get angry, I want to tweet and I want people to know about it. The second thing that I do, I eat my sorrows away. Even if it's not even my cheat day, I'm going to have a cheat meal. And I need to make some awesome food. What goes with the good food? I need a drink. Go to the bar, get some cheap, cheap food, grab a beer, maybe something a little heavier. I found this thing. It's like a peanut butter whiskey, which I can't think of. Screwball. Go out and try that. Number four, watch something entertaining. Right now for me, I like watching more football games. And luckily, my TV choice, they've gotten rid of all those commercials for me. Or something called the Raiders Report. I heard it's actually pretty good. And the last thing I do when the Raiders lose, I just go to FanDuel. I'm like, all right, I got to win something today, right? If the Raiders lost, I'm going to go to FanDuel, and I'm going to try to win some money, and I'm going to try to bet on some other players. So you can actually still get in a FanDuel tournament tonight, Monday Night Football, Jets versus the Browns. I don't know who you're going to put money on there. Personally, it's going to be a toss-up. But if you want to compete against me this week, or I guess NFL Week 3, on FanDuel, bring it on because I'm going to take you all down. Go to FanDuel.com slash chat sports. You got to use that link. And if you want to challenge me on FanDuel, okay, because you think that you're smarter than me, which you might be smarter than me, but not on FanDuel, I want you to join my FanDuel tournament. So DM me on IG or on Twitter. DM me on Facebook. Let me know. DM me the word FanDuel if you want to take me on. So it's for the tournament. It's for new users only. So if you want to challenge me and you already have an account, you got to make a new one. Bring it on. Join my FanDuel tournament. DM me FanDuel. So Mika Fitzpatrick. This dude is seeking a trade because the Dolphins are hashtag terrible, and the Dolphins are allowing Minka to seek that trade. Miami, though, is asking for a first-rounder at least, and he's been unhappy with the Dolphins' usage, and hopefully the Raiders would use him the correct way. So if Fitzpatrick were to be traded, he'd be under contract through 2021, plus a fifth-year option. His cap hit in 2019 to 2021, as you can see, all under $3 million, which I think is a great value. I do see Fitzpatrick getting a bigger contract later on, but the Raiders' salary cap right now is $26.6 million, the fourth most in the NFL. Uh, we, I don't know if you guys know this, have extra money in our pocket because this one guy with two letters, a lot of you guys chant F his name at the games. He's no longer part of the team, so we have some extra money. So what I wanted to do for you guys is throw together some possible Minka Fitzpatrick trades. So the Raiders have two first-round picks in 2020. The way that I did it, I didn't want to say who's going to have a better record, Raiders or the Bears, because they're both 1-1 one one right now. So, the highest first-round pick, 2020 first-round pick, get the Dolphins get, the Oakland Raiders, they get Minka Fitzpatrick. The next deal that I threw together here, the Raiders, they get Minka Fitzpatrick, or the lower the first-round picks of the Raiders, and you can throw in Ryan Grant, right? I mean, the Dolphins need wide receiver help. Devontae Parker's on his, like, eighth breakout year at this point. And Ryan Grant this past week against the Chiefs. Let's just keep Hunter Renfro out there. Let's get Keelan Doss a little bit more work. So let me know out of those two trades which one you like more. Just comment one or two. So should the Raiders trade for Minka Fitzpatrick? I don't know if you know this. That's this video. That's what I want to know. You guys are always hitting me up saying, Mitch, should they do this? Should they do that? So I'm going to ask you, and I want to see what you guys can come up with. So like this video if the Oakland Raiders should trade for Minka Fitzpatrick. If you're like, nah, fam, we're good, dislike the video. Let me see some likes. Let me see some dislikes. Should the Raiders trade for Mick Fitzpatrick? And now, mark in your calendar because tomorrow I'm going to be live. Live Raiders report, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Turn on your notifications. So, Dad, Mom, I know I say it all the time, and my dad finally had the courage after a year and a half to ask me, Mitch, what does that even mean? Dad, it's the thing that looks like a bell. Click the thing that looks like a bell so you know exactly when I go live. Live Raiders report tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Raider Nation. Mark it in your calendar, and until tomorrow, I'll see you. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.